When you registered your account, we captured your name, phone number, and email. Your phone number, as you probably know, is used to receive security codes when logging into your hub, while your email is used to send you notifications from time to time. If you need to update your profile information, you're in luck. That's what we're here to show you today. After you have logged into your collaboration hub, you will see a person's image in the top right. When you click on it, you will see a handful of options in this menu. The Change User Profile option allows you to update any data you provided during your initial registration, whereas Change Password will take you directly to the Change Password page. We'll look at both options today. Your personal information contains your full name, your email address and your phone number. It also contains your user ID. You can update any one of the fields you see here. The changes you make will go back to your professional team, however you may also want to inform them of any changes anyway. This will ensure they update all of their systems. Although you can change your user ID, it is not recommended. If you do choose to update your user ID, ensure it meets the requirements, make note of it and keep it handy. Once you make the changes, click Save to update. You can also change your password while you're here, or if you recall, from your user profile icon in your collaboration hub. When you change your password make sure you meet the password criteria. Criteria you met will have a green check mark next to it. Confirm your new password by typing it again and click change password. Note your password expires every 90 days for security purposes. If by chance you don't change it before it expires, you can always use the forgot password link from the login screen. It's pretty straightforward to use the forgot password function, but if you need assistance, locate the video that will step you through the process. The last option in your profile allows you to pair a device, such as your cell phone, to your collaboration hub profile. When you pair your device, the security code you would normally receive via text or email will come through this new app, called an authenticator. You can choose to use the Collaboration Hub's provider, or Google for your Authenticator app. We highly recommend that you do not pair a device unless you are familiar with Authenticator applications. If you pair a device and you encounter a problem, it may become difficult for your professional team to assist you. Otherwise, that's all to managing your personal profile. You can sign out using the option in the top right and close this tab. You should keep your personal information up to date. This will ensure you can log into your collaboration hub and that you'll receive important messages from your professional team. We hope you found this lesson helpful. Thank you.